Hey everybody, how goes it? My name is Jamor, and welcome back to Days Gone. At the next mission here. Just got a bunch of stuff upgraded for the bike and all. Went through all my money. Deke? I've been, uh... Thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. Okay. So where are we heading? You ever oh been up to the God. caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay. Let's go. Really, I have to walk this? I got Mars duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. That old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freak stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, yeah. sounds like. Here, let me. <laughs> nice work. Hey, Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when. Lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. Mm -hmm. We got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. I don't think I'll ever back there. Back here. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. The horde. All right, get down, get down. Damn it, Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Follow him. Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. They're gonna bury him. Don't get too close. Stay down. That's a pretty big horse. What the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer two, Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sandium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the whores. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. But... Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and and just like that freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see <clears throat> yeah, 
You don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Collapse okay, the caves. So how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it. I've a, taken a on several. This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we? Yep. Blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You get my attention. This is gonna be fun. Okay. Come on, let's head back. All right. My knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. Okay. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when the chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed yep. them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day. And, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blew up those caves. Maybe we have a few less to deal with. Cool. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but... A job like that. It's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. You got a point. <sighs> All right. All right. Look, there's some things I gotta do. Okay, but you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Mm hmm. St. John. Oh boy, the guy I. He was supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike. You'll get your ass up that way today. Or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Get right on that. St. John out. I will kill him. Don't even need a reason anymore. Just want to. Really badly. That was an easy mission, but it sucked. It's gonna What's be up? fun now. Nothing. Trust me. Okay. 
Good to know that if something goes wrong, I just have to wander around and hope I find you then. Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. We extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks okay. back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike, what the hell? You told me... You told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here. Turn right here. This is it. Yeah, I've been here several times. <sighs> that bike looking awesome. Mike. The place is going to be crawling out. I, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Found it. Out of the buildings. Come on. We've got to head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? You, where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah, everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. And what do you mean? People. Here. Swarmers? They're not swarmers. Nukes? Oh shit. It's called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long. But it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and how well, they. Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days. the hell one of them wasn't me okay commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit go get the key so we can get the hell out of here yeah you didn't give a damn about sealing the caves you brought me here be because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're going to go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're going to get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. 
I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers, the one that Schizo saw. How do you think he cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Just kill the Rippers. You don't see those crazy fools reproducing. Here's the door. Place is locked up tight. Locked. Come on. Gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. It was always the sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. God rest her soul. You didn't like kids. Wow, here I thought you liked everyone. Almost no one would have been. But I tolerate most. Even smart ass drifters. This is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Nice gun. I don't think he's got a scooter. Stay behind me. Hey, I could take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. There we go. <laughs> That's all of them. Let's go. Right behind you. Really? You're gonna start shooting? Stay down. Freaks. They're bringing the whole goddamn town down. Freaks! This gun. Keep it up, old man. Oh yeah, I'm right behind you. Whenever I get the extended clip for first, I'm just gonna get my uh use. Military grade NW MWS would be awesome though.
going nowhere. Jesus, what a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Ooh, that's not a fun way to die. Not from me. Doesn't hold a lot of ammo. Problem. the rippers why you wanted me to see that shit you know Dick, I always saw a bit of myself in back in the day how's that you don't give a shit oh you care about your friend you don't want to see him die but me any other goddamn person on the planet I don't think so caring will just get you killed yeah that's right the thing is not caring will get you killed just as easy Oh, the storm Good folks of Sherman Camp did will stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. I hate to tell you, but the uh, rippers are messed up. Come on. Any day now. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm going to get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you going to get everyone killed? Freaks aren't going to be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're going to need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Not me. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. I can make it a tractor now. Awesome. Car alarms now. <laughs> well, Mike, I ain't gonna bet on that. The tree. I'm seeing nothing else. I agree with Schizo. The... Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Right. Trying to decide what to do. 
wonder how Bruiser's holding up. I guess I should uh, go check on him. Hope he's awake. You here to buy something? Boss, how you doing? I think I might go back to MWS. Deacon, good to see you. Hey Blair, how are things in the gun trade? It's not that much of a difference, and it's a bigger clip. That's my issue. It's a much bigger clip, and I could hold more alongside. Yeah, good. What do I need for this? 2500. Yep. Hey, hey come along more you? often. We miss you. How's it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you lay down. Thank you, ma'am. You can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? <laughs> Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. I thought that everybody gave me a shit time about it. I don't even know who Eddie and Mia is. I'll take my experience now. Thank you. Brothers in arm. Mmm. Blue's a shotgun. Seems like he's uh, getting better. Okay. Well, again, I ain't got shit else going on. Yeah, I need to refuel and stuff, though. Got good shit in stock today. Buzz, how you doing? Or don't. Looking for anything this in particular? Is... Uh, check yeah, back later. Right, we're good to go. Hey, you seen Ricky? You tell her, uh... <laughs> tell her I said get to work. I hate leaving this way. Why are you going forward? Captain Corey! Get Captain Corey! J just radio him, dammit! The outpost is under attack! Corporal, we gotta move out!
Deke, you gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who murdered Camel and Reed at the farm. Ah, Lynch man. Bitch, you know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah, he's on the north shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry. I already killed these hordes. I hear music. Hey Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I Next show, second. uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. that's why I'm here. This will be the last thing for this episode. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. I need the area secured okay, now. Yeah, I get it. Okay, let's get this done. This time, I need you to plant one of those trackers on their helo. Their chopper. I know what a helo is, O'Brien. And you better have something for me. I got someone I trust working on it. We'll know soon enough. Sign says gas low. Okay, I gotta place a tracker on that chopper. What the hell are we doing out here? Any guys, just What's it told? clean around. Oh, Can't let them see me. had it. I'm a little too far. Yeah, I hear you. I guess. You got to think 
We've now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, building structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You, you finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask him. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a crunch. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses. That must be nice, flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus, O'Brien. Don't. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. And safe. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? one here i want to thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy it hit the like button subscribe for more that's me a lot out of the infirmary today man and as always run away sounds like Addy. how's the arm you know it's about 50 percent there <laughs> sorry a little mpt humor there seriously though it's like i can still feel my right hand you know yeah, i think they call that phantom pain yeah yeah that's what Addy said it, man, it fucking sucks After a long ride, your hand gets gummed up, and you go to flex it, and... Anyway, I... I gotta get going. This is what got me on farm duty. I'm gonna see if I can, uh, pay off the damn pain meds that Eddie has me on. Later. Later. Any more interruptions? Okay. This is Tuck. <laughs> you out there? Uh, Tuck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by, digging out. Deke, this is Copeland. How's it going? I've got a job for you. Here's your boy. Go, hey, uh... Yeah, yeah, I'll see if I can, uh, make time. Deacon out. I don't know what we're doing next time. Deke? Hey, we got a job oh, for you. Oh, God, God, son. Ricky, hey, um, okay. Yeah, I'll check in. Deacon out.
Anybody else want to talk?